Kimura's Cultural Corner is a physical space and a metaphoric space, and it's a space where we practice cultural humility and we meet community and work with each other through a culturally humble lens, which sounds like a wonderful, lofty idea, um, but it's the real work of building community. So we talk about building brave spaces here rather than safe spaces. Safe spaces are incredibly important, and Kimura's Cultural Corner definitely provides safe space to folks who need it. But for community to build and for us to come together and get to those wonderful places of, of synchronicity and community that we need to get to, we need to step into brave spaces. What you can definitely expect whenever you walk in here is to find a community of human beings who want to engage with you. For about the last decade, I've been working in this world of cultural competency, and maybe about six years ago, I noticed the conversation shifting, and we're no longer talking about cultural competency, but we're talking about cultural humility. We're talking about ways that we really look at ourselves and dwell inward and figure out how to work with other human beings from our place. So I'm really, really proud of what our work looks like from a culturally humble angle. Rather than cultural competency, ooh, look at me learning all about other people so that I can take care of other people. It's cultural humility. Who am I? How do I fit into this world? And how does that affect the way that I show up with other human beings? Kimura's Cultural Corner is a black, queer, Afrocentric space. And I love to call it that. However, I'm coming from my own perspective. And I realize that there are many people who, when they hear that, hear exclusion. And they hear black, well, I'm not black, there's no space for me. Queer, I'm not queer, so there's no space for me. Afrocentric, I don't even know what that is. So therefore, there's definitely no space in there for me. And that's not what a black, queer, Afrocentric perspective means at all. We're saying we're centering you, we're centering you in your own story, and we're going to see how you fit into that story over the long time. One thing that happens far too often, I think, in society is that we ask people to dissect themselves. And there are places where we can be gay, there are places where we can be heterosexual, there are places we can be black, there are places we can be white. And when we bring those other identities into those spaces, basically we understand and we know that we're being invited in as guests. Here, no one is being invited in as guests. So when you walk in here, you belong here. Whether you're white, whether you're black, we are black and queer and Afrocentric, and that is the lens that you get. That is what you walk into when you walk into Kamara's Cultural Corner. We have space for all. I've been enjoying watching people who have a whole bunch of preconceived notions about what this neighborhood is and what it means to dwell within this neighborhood, coming in here and telling me, oh, this isn't exactly what I thought at all. Oh, this is so much more beautiful than I thought it would be. And I love pushing them at that point and saying, what did you expect it to be? This is Albany Avenue in Hartford. This is a beautiful place to be.